Hello, I'm Lawrence Bessemer, I'm the CEO of FOIL, and I'm delighted to introduce this short film about working to the FOIL standards. FOIL members have developed a series of benchmarks of excellence in insurance law, and I've invited Ant Gould, Director of Faculties at the Chartered Insurance Institute, to find out more in conversation with Duncan Rutter, FOIL President, and Shirley Denyer, Technical Director of FOIL. Thank you, Lawrence. And thank you both for joining me today. Now, FOIL has been working on this standard for over 12 months now, so Shirley, let's get straight down to it. Why have you developed it in the first place? I think as most lawyers are aware, the SRA is changing the way it deals with continuing competence, uh, which is about maintaining standards after qualification. Uh, and from the 1st of November this year, the SRA is replacing uh, CPD points with a new statement of solicitor competence. and um, That will set the standard uh, that all solicitors uh, will need to meet. Uh, and in addition to that, they've developed uh, a new statement of legal knowledge, and that sets out the technical know-how uh, that solicitors will need uh, at the time they qualify. And as you'd expect with SRA documents, they're general and they apply to all solicitors. Um, and the aim of the FOIL um, statement of competence for insurance solicitors is to focus on insurance lawyers. Uh, and those standards will apply to solicitors and to those who are qualified in alternative ways who have day-to-day -day care and conduct of files for insurance clients. Uh, the FOIL statement uh, doesn't replace the SRA version. Uh, solicitors will need to, still need to meet that standard. Um, but it augments it uh, to enable insurance lawyers to demonstrate their own specialist expertise. Uh, and again, working alongside the SRA versions, um, FOIL has also developed a suite of statements uh, of legal knowledge uh, focusing um, on insurance areas. Um, there are 10 available um, at the moment, covering everything from motor, credit hire, disease, uh, catastrophic claims, property, and, and they will help um, lawyers to demonstrate their specific skills um, when they're handling uh, work of that type. So who in fact are these aimed at? Are they aimed at just experts? People who are handling um, files on a day-to-day -day basis and who are working to the FOIL standard will be experts uh, in that area. Um, and senior lawyers will be demonstrating competence and technical knowledge to a very high level. Uh, but the standards will also be of, of, of use and of interest to, um, to solicitors who are just at the beginning of their career. Um, and they should look upon them as aspirational um, because they'll be highlighting the, the skills and the technical knowledge that they will need to acquire to be able to deliver the FOIL standard for themselves. Okay, and in terms of acquiring these standards and these skills, how can FOIL help with that? Well, FOIL publishes a huge amount um, of update material um, every year. Uh, on a very wide range uh, of topics and, and that material is only available um, to FOIL members um, and access to that will help to deliver the standards. Uh, whether you're uh, still developing uh, skills uh, and technical expertise at the beginning of your career or whether you're already a senior lawyer who just wants to keep up to date. Duncan, um, to bring you in there, um, Shirley's talked very much about the theory behind all of this. How exactly will the standards be used here at your own firm at the AC Beach Club? Well, um, insurers expect their lawyers to be ahead of the game in terms of legal knowledge, but um, they also expect uh, their lawyers to have a good understanding of the sector uh, and also insurance practices. And the materials that FOIL has produced will help with that. Um, at DSE Beechcroft, um, we're members of FOIL, and so all our members will have access to these materials. Uh, and that, I think, will give us uh, uh, an edge over some of our competitors who are not members of FOIL. Thank you. And um, Shirley, back to you. How do you think that FOIL members can make the best use of these standards? Well, I think they will have both an internal and an external, and an external role for, uh, for, for member firms. Um, internally, uh, the new SRA rules um, will require solicitors uh, each year to reflect on the quality of their practice and to identify their own training and development needs. Uh, and they'll need to sign a declaration each year to say that they've done that um, and that they are maintaining um, competence. Um, and I think in, in many firms that will become part of, of the normal uh, appraisal process. Uh, and these statements um, will help with that. They will help um, uh, solicitors and, and those who are qualified in an alternative way uh, to identify uh, the areas they need to focus on to, to uh, maintain and develop their insurance expertise. Uh, and I think and externally, as, as Duncan has already said, insurers expect very high standards from their lawyers and the, uh, the standards will, will help them um, to have reassurance that that's being delivered. 
I mean, hopefully, uh, working to the foil standard will become shorthand um, in the industry um, for a, a high level of technical expertise that insurers will be able to rely upon. Okay, thank you. And, and Duncan, to finish with you, really, in terms of foil as an organisation, how are these standards going to impact foil itself? Well, this is just part of the service that we offer our members and which we believe will give real value uh, for money. It also gives FOIL though um, a template for developing further materials to help us as we develop into other areas of practice. Okay, thank you both for your time. Well I hope you enjoyed that film and found it interesting and informative. If you'd like to find out more about what FOIL does and about working to the FOIL standard, please do get in touch. You can contact me on email lawrence.bessemer at foil.org.uk or check our website foil.org.uk or you can follow us on Twitter at foil law. <laughs>